Kelly and Scott, we're here as family and friends because so many people love the two of you. They love your love story. There are a lot of reasons that those of us gathered here believe in the path that the two of you have been called to. I know that God has brought you two together in a way that um, has allowed you both to be humble and kind and ultimately the thing that fuels all of what you do, which is a Christian love that really can only come from God in marriage and in relationships and in life. Love is what fuels all of it. And that's the love we're here to celebrate today. Scott, when we first met at the Chick-fil-A gym, I had no idea of the exciting journey ahead. This was the beginning of a personal transformation in my understanding of the person and character of Jesus Christ, and a dramatic change in my life's trajectory as I began to know an incredible man who would soon become my best friend. Our story has been arduous, yet that turmoil has taken us to where we stand today. God has used you to open my eyes to an entirely new depth of what loving means. I don't just see you as the good-looking husband you are, but also what Jesus sees and who he created you to be. You're an incredible man, not easily swayed by others, which is a blessing and a curse, um, compassionate, gentle, and non-judgmental. You love me deeply. You've done an unbelievable job of showing me your love through actions, pointed words, and the respectful way you treat me. Making vows weighs heavily on me, so I won't promise ones I'm pretty sure I'm gonna break. I'll still probably feel frustrated with your slower walking pace. <laughs> we will have discussions over and over about being frugal means. And I'll probably not always keep a cool, calm, and collected tone when I'm upset. But I do promise I'll work to respond better in all those situations. <laughs> I do vow I'll work with you to transform us into better versions of ourselves as individuals and as a team. I promise to build a home that exemplifies what it means to love my husband well, encourage curiosity, demand adventure, and love and respect others. I vow to be grateful for you, your encouragement, your comfort, and your love. I will constantly remind you of how proud I am of who you are right now as you are and not for what you might do later. I vow a lifelong commitment to you despite the difficulties arising from one's life circumstances. I vow to love you as best I know how and to continually learn what it means to love better. And I promise to be your faithful and loving wife for life. I love you. There are times it seems like yesterday when we met on that December evening, me being the introvert I am, stayed in my little corner of the gym. You, with your natural affability and magnetism, pulled me out of that little corner to pepper me with deep, probing questions about feelings and stuff like that. <laughs> I slowly got to know you better and found the most selfless, compassionate, dynamic woman I've ever met. A little intimidated at first, I'll admit. You think and speak at 100 miles an hour, not necessarily in that order. After enough time, I realize the breadth and depth of your care for others. The capacity you have to absorb and empathize. You are fierce in your faith and intensely loyal. I remember the electric thrill the first time you held my hand. Now here we are nearly four years later, standing in front of 200 of our closest friends and family expressing our love and commitment to one another. I can't stand here and promise that I'll never disappoint you. I can't promise I'll always be the first one in the car to be on time for dinner reservations. I can't promise these things and I will mess up. What I know for sure, however, what I can promise you, is that my love for you will grow stronger every day. I can assure you that I will be your biggest fan, to look into your ocean eyes, on the hard days and say, I believe in you. I will work to make our house the safest space in the whole world, a respite from what can be a cold and divisive outside. I will create a sanctuary of trust for you to express your thoughts without retribution or harshness. 
a place to simply be you. I promise to encourage your self-expression and nurture who you are, an individual. Most importantly, I vow to grow with you in our mutual pursuit of being more Christ-like. They say promises are never a substitute for preparation. How can we possibly be completely prepared for what's to come? After the hundreds of hypotheticals, I realize we can't be. But we have been preparing for 34 years. And there's nobody else I'd rather do life with than you. You've taught me that love at this level is possible. And when you least expect it, someone can come into your life and change everything. So here today in front of all to witness, I promise that I will uphold you as the amazing woman you are. I am no longer in that little corner, paralyzed about uncertainty, rather standing hand in hand with you, looking ahead with anticipation and confidence in the life we share. And in light of all these things, it's my pleasure to now pronounce you husband and wife. Yeah. Scott, yeah. you may kiss your bride. Friends and family, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Scott and Kelly Leo.